All right, it is January 25th, 2011, and we are out on a repossession for a green Jeep Grand Cherokee. And that's the address right there. Looks like it's a house behind a house. It's 126, 124. Yep, that's the address. Oh, there's a Jeep right there in the back. Looks like there's a fence that opens up, too. Into a shopping center back behind it. There's no front plate on it. Plus, that gate's open. I can actually get through there. The problem is, it's not green. That was like a dark green. Plus, it looks a little bit newer than the one we're looking for. So I'm going to wrap around this uh, shopping center. And, uh... See if we can get back behind there where that gate's opened up. There's the rooftops of the shopping center. Let's zoom in here. Okay. Alright, there's the rooftops of the shopping center. Looks like it wraps around behind here. behind the shopping center is a road that wraps around here. We just barely had a snowstorm come through today. Dropped a couple of feet of snow on us. Well, at least we got a couple of feet up in the mountains. Down here in the valley we've got about, I don't know, a couple inches. Oh look, there's another Jeep here behind the house. There's the house. And that's our plate. See, they got some kind of a gate where they can come in behind here. Yep, that's our vehicle. So they have two Jeeps. So I'm going to pull up here. Let's see if it's locked. damage. And I thought it was about to fall off. Doors are locked. It's an automatic. That's our house right there. Oh, back door's open. Show how we do the automatic linkage on these things. Let's see if I can find something in here. The screwdriver. Oh, this will work. Pop the circuit up here. And I can put the crowbar down here and I can push on this linkage. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, back up camera.
certain year Jeeps, which this is one of them, you can uh, put them into neutral as long as the four wheel drive is in two wheel drive. It will uh, roll, pick it up from the front or the rear. We're going to grab it from the rear in this case. See it rolling free there as I go to snatch it with the wheel lift. We'll be real careful when we back up so you don't bump it too hard. Low roll. My wheels are slightly turned, so our seat's going to kick to the driver's side. You can see it kicking out there. So I'm just going to kind of slow roll it here until I'm off the snow onto a flat surface. There we go. That never came out, so. So it's nice when you don't have to have a confrontation. Turn on some tunage and get this over to the impound yard. We'll get this one transported over to our inbound yard. Of course, I got to jump out, put some straps on it. I don't want to bore you guys too much with the details, but that's pretty much how you can uh, put an all-wheel drive Jeep into uh, neutral. Just pop the plastic housing up around the uh, shifter. There's a little metal field that goes up into some teeth. You just push down on spring loaded. Just push down on it with like a flathead screwdriver. In that case, I was able to find a uh, tire iron on the floor. And you just push down on it, and it pops right into neutral, and then you just put it, snap the housing back down, get back out, and then once you get it to wherever you're taking it to, you can just put it back into neutral and work on getting keys made. So that's how you do a linkage.